and welcome back to Art with Miss Chote. Today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be playing with negative space. So we're going to be using a background paper, it can be any color you want, and we're going to be using a smaller white piece of paper. We're going to be doing a simple design on it or you can even use a piece of art you already have. This is a technique that can be used in many different ways. So we're going to be drawing a simple thing and we'll be cutting that up and playing with that negative space. So let's go get our supplies and get started. So to start with, you want a piece of paper that's bigger than the one you're going to draw on. So this is my background paper. This is gonna be my negative space, meaning I'm not gonna draw anything in this. The color is just gonna represent the lines that are made out of our cuts. And this will be the paper that I draw on. You can put anything you want on this white paper. Just make sure that it's smaller on all sides than your under paper. So I'm gonna just do some simple lines going across my page, and then we're gonna cut it up. So once we have our back, our image drawn, I just kept it simple with lines. I'm gonna cut my lines in the opposite direction that these are. So I'm gonna go this way and I'm gonna cut any kind of lines. We can do wavy lines, we can do straight lines, we can do zigzag lines, but keep them in order when you cut them. So here's our wavy line. I'm gonna do a zigzag line. because this is gonna be creating our negative space. And now we're gonna do, maybe I'll do a straight line. Maybe I'll do another straight line. Let's mix it up. And I can do one more. I'm gonna do another wavy line. So here is my paper. Now we're going to be arranging it on our background. So doing it this way, I don't have enough space. Can I do it this way? I don't think, I think it has to be this way. That's okay. I could always cut down my white paper if I wanted to, but I don't mind there not being that much space. So I'm going to start with, I want to leave a little bit of orange on each side. And now we can go ahead and we can glue these down. But you see how the orange is now its own line. It looks like there's orange lines going through our paper, even though it's just our background paper. So this is such an easy concept to do, but you can elevate it. You could do a picture of a person and cut it up and do this to them. It, there's so many different platforms and ways you can use this in art. So let's go ahead and glue it down. So here's our last one. Now you could glue down all the edges. That's up to you. I don't mind how it looks when it's curling up, but again, everyone is an artist and you can make your own decisions. I don't want your projects to look exactly like mine. I want you to use your own creativity and use these ideas to come up with your own projects. I just want this to be a starting point for things for you to create. So I'm just going back now, adding a little bit of glue to each area where it's kind of popping up. And now you can really see what it's doing. There we go. So there's our finished negative space simple drawing. So I hope you had fun today playing with your negative space. Look how that yellow of the background paper comes through so much as a line. We didn't do a lot to our white paper. These, you know, the blue, green, purple, blue, this pattern was very simple, but yet now it elevates it to another level. So imagine if you did this with a more complicated drawing or a more complicated painting, and then we were to use this background. Or imagine if the background had art on it as well. There are so many different ways we can use negative space in our art. So I hope you had fun. Remember, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. And remember, subscribe so you get notified every time I post a new video. See you next time, friends. Bye.